Well, Tide Tide, this uh, area that's always been dry every time I've come through is quite underwater. Give you a little reference here. Here's the canoe. <laughs> Comes up another foot and she'll be floating. But anyway, wasn't too bad though. The, the chips are still here for the most part. I think it did get up here, but it should be peaking right about now. So anyway, she's looking good. Let's take a look before we get going here. Remember yesterday we just kind of roughed the ends a little bit, got some weight off. Continue that thought and hopefully dig down in a little bit. I want to get some weight off this girl. I want to move it out of here really bad. I wish I could camp with it, but I don't feel comfortable with that. You're not supposed to. And, uh, so I'd much rather just move it, get it home where I can work with it. But uh, she's looking good here. Sunlight is just beautiful. Yeah. Not funny to do. Canoe, canoe. What a wonderful place to chop, huh? This is uh, coming a little slower than I'd like. I, know, I always feel that way, but that, all those chips are today, actually. There was nothing on that side, uh, except for a little bit down at the bottom there. You can see what I did to the stern the other day. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep doing this, get down to the nice wood. Uh, this is why we do it. People ask me, why do you take the sap wood off? This is why. Okay, and this is that whole charred middle. I'm just pulling it out and look what's underneath. It's beautiful. Beautiful redwood. And uh, that's her natural color. And we gotta run with that. That's just beautiful wood. <laughs> that's why we take the sap wood off. It's protected her. It's done its job. It's time for me to get in and uh, take it from here. Right, the goal now is going to be to dig in a little bit here. It's about time I get going on the top again. I'm going to go with this, what I started here. I'm probably going to bring it out a little bit on the port side yet. Uh, get it around here. And, uh, but I'm going to work with these knots. Uh, there's only a couple of them there. A couple back here that I can see. And uh, Of course, we haven't seen the bottom of this thing yet. But... Uh, I think I'm going to go with the, the line I started with and, uh, and just start digging and uh, get some weight off this thing. Beautiful day out here. Beautiful. Good, to get, <laughs> good day to chop. <laughs> Every day is a good day to chop. I gotta keep remembering that. Isn't she pretty? done and uh, I've worked around the outside of the bow so I'm going to start digging into the bow right now and on the outside too probably we'll clean this up a little bit a little bit I don't know I have to see this thing when we roll it <laughs> but anyway yeah, here we go concentrating on the bow once again about quitting time one more look at her here Much strip that side of the sapwood early in the day and then came over here and literally bled while I did this one but I got the bow seat starting to shape up the indentation there where you sit your boot and the other indentation where your feet will go I'm working that up into the bow then remember this is kind of sideways so I have to keep remembering that anyway got down in there several inches and, uh, and being careful you know 
to not chop too much, so uh, the rest of the canoe I'll do for each other. I'm gonna stick with those lines I got. Uh, and uh, <laughs> this cold wind's making my nose run, so I'm not gonna give you guys that picture. <laughs> Seat. <laughs> I know it's windy. Maybe you didn't hear that. 